Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today during chemistry, we're going to discuss stoichiometry. Specifically today, we are going to learn how to do mass-mass conversions. Um, today's essential question, given the mass of reactant used, how do you calculate the mass of the products? For today's lecture, make sure you have your periodic tables and calculators handy. Okay, to learn mass-mass conversions, we're really just going to do a practice problem because you actually know all the pieces. It's just putting them all together into one big problem. All right, so the problem we're going to work on is what mass of lithium chloride will be formed by the reaction of lithium bromide with 12.23 grams of chlorine in the following reaction. All right, so the very first thing we should do is go ahead and fill out our BCA table. So I will start by writing the reaction. So we have two Li, Br, and chlorine producing two Li, Cl, and bromine. And we'll divide this stuff up a little bit. Um, All right, so um, let's start even before we get to the problem. Let's fill out the things that we can. We know that at the beginning of the reaction, there are no reactants. No, nope, let's take that back. <laughs> at the beginning of the reaction, there are no products. So in the B for, re for products, we have zero. We also know that after the reaction, we should have no reactants. Okay, so we got about as much of that filled out as we possibly can. So let's look at our question now. Um, our given is 12.23 grams of chlorine. And if you remember, the BCA table is for moles only which means at the moment we cannot use the BCA table, but what we can do is convert from grams of chlorine to moles of chlorine. So we're gonna I switch pages to give us some room. We have 12.23 grams of chlorine, and what we're trying to find out is how many moles of chlorine that is. So, this is where we set up the grid and write our known over one. Now we need some sort of a quality that relates the units grams and moles. And that equality is one mole of chlorine equals the molar mass of chlorine and remember, molar mass is off the periodic table, and the molar mass of chlorine is 35.45 grams, but there are two of them, and so the molar mass is going to be 70.90. We have to put a zero there because we're adding, right? And there's two digits after the decimal, so we have to have two digits after the decimal in our answer. So one mole of chlorine equals 70.90 grams of chlorine. We now need to put one of these on the top in our grid and one at the bottom. And we will put the grams on the bottom because we have grams up at the top there. So they can cancel out. So we're gonna have 70 0.90 grams of Cl2 on the bottom, one mole Cl2 on the top, gram Cl2 crosses out gram Cl2, and now we can just calculate to get the moles. And if I did my calculations right, I got 1.7 249, etc. Um, but only we have so supposed to have four sig figs, so I end up with 0 0.1725 mole of chlorine. 
that information can now go in our BCA table. Okay, so um, our before for chlorine is 0 0.17. Two five moles, and being that we don't know anything about lithium bromide, we'll just say he's excess. All right. So the next thing we need to do is fill out our um, mole ratio, and remember the top number is always the the coefficient in the column that we're talking about. So for lithium bromide, the top number is going to be two. For chlorine, it's going to be one. For lithium chloride, it's going to be 2, and for bromine, it's going to be 1. Right. And the bottom number in our mole ratio is the coefficient in front of our known. Our known is Cl2, and there's no coefficient in front of it, which means it's a 1. So everybody gets a 1 as a bottom number. So now we have our mole ratios. All right. Next up, we need to calculate change. So remember um, that before plus change gives us after. Um, and we need to pick, to, to calculate change, we need to pick a column that has two numbers in it. And that would be our known column here because we have um, the 0.1725 and we have a zero after. So we can use that information to calculate change. So what we need to say is that before plus change equals after, right? So what we need is something that adds with 0.1725 to, to equal out to zero. And that would be negative 0.725. Okay, so that's the actual change for chlorine. We need to um, come up with a change factor, which is multiplying something by 1 over 1, which is 1, by our change to, to get 0.1725, which is negative 0 0.1725. Okay, and that's going to be the same amount for each of them. We're going to multiply lithium bromide also by... 0 0.1725. Um, this one is going to be negative because it's a reactant and we are using it up, right? So we have to say we're using it, negative. Um, lithium chloride will be multiplying the mole ratio also by 0 0.1725. But this time it's positive because it's a product we are adding more in. We're making it. And that is also true of bromine. Okay, so now we have our um, change factors. We just need to calculate the actual change of each of the reactants and products by multiplying the change factor by the mole ratio. All right, so if we start with lithium bromide, my actual change is going to be negative 0 0.345 is what my calculator said. However, I have four sig figs there, so I'll stick a zero on the end. Now I have four sig figs. All right, we already know our actual change for chlorine. Lithium chloride, we are also going to have a change of positive this time. 0 0.345, adding a 0 for sig figs. And bromine, we have 0 0.1725. Okay, so now we have our actual changes. And let's calculate um, how much product we have produced after. So we're going to have 0 plus... Our change factor, for, so before plus change, giving us 0 0.3450 for lithium chloride and 0 0.1725 for bromine. All right, let's go back to our question and see what we were looking for. We were looking for mass of lithium chloride. So we're looking 
for this column here, right? Lithium chloride. But we're looking for mass. And remember, one more time, BCA is only moles. So we know the moles now of lithium chloride, but we need to calculate mass. So we're going to take this right here, which I'll write up at the top here, is 0 0.3450 mole of lithium chloride, and we'll convert that to mass. So let's do that. All right, so I switched pages, so we have a little bit of room to work. So again, we, we had calculated 0 0.3450 moles of lithium chloride, and we're trying to get to mass of lithium chloride. So you guys know how to do this, right? Set up the grid, and we will start with our known, 0 0.3450 mole LiCl over 1. And we need to find an equality that has the units mole and grams. And that equality would be 1 mole LiCl equals the molar mass of LiCl, and we get that by looking at the periodic table, and we note that the mass of lithium is 6.94 grams, and the mass of chlorine is 35.45 grams. So we add those up, and that'll give us the molar mass of chlorine. Okay, and I got 42.39 grams of chlorine for the molar mass. Um, and again, remember for sig figs when we're adding, we look at the digits after the decimal. So we have two digits after lithium's mass and two digits after chlorine's mass. So we need two digits in our answer. That's why we end up with four digits there. Okay, so we have now one mole of LiCl equals uh, 42.39 grams of LiCl. All right. Now, each of these, the mole LiCl and the mass LiCl, need to go into our grid up in this area here. And we pick which one goes where based on uh, being able to cancel out units, right? So being that we have moles here, we need moles down there. So we're going to use the one mole LiCl on the bottom and the 42.39 gr uh, grams LiCl on the top. Mole LiCl crosses out mole LiCl. And let's make a little bit of room here. So now we just need to multiply across, and we will know the mass of LiCl. And I calculated 14.62455 grams of LiCl. Um, sig figs. 4 and 4, so 4 in our final answer, which means we're going to keep those. So final, final answer is 14.62 grams of LiCl. So starting with 23 or 12.23 grams of chlorine, we can make 14.62 grams of LiCl. Okay, that's really all there is to mass and ma to mass. It's not much different than converting from mole to mole or mass to mole or mole to mass. Just a little bit longer. You know all the pieces. It's just putting them all together. All right, that's it for today. Have a good one.